Wagwan peeps. Just making a simple intro video here in Caden Live. So, let's go. The first thing we need to do is add a clip. We can get this right from Caden Live without need for any other software or media. Here we have a drop down to add clips to our project. We just need this one, the title clip. We get an interactive dialogue with further options. As this is a simple intro, we just need the rectangle tool. We can specify the width and height of the rectangle at the top of the dialog. Then we can position it using our alignment tools here to the right. We also have the option to change the color of the rectangle to any color we want. We have a light gray here that we can make even lighter. If we want, we can even choose to add a background or any color. However, we just want a transparent background so that this intro can work in any video. An option for animation is also available. Our animation will be done from the timeline, so we don't need that. Oops. Forgot to set the duration of our clip to 1 second. Once we're done, we just click OK, and our clip is added to the clip bin. To use it, we can then click and drag the clip onto our timeline. As our clip is only 1 second in duration, it is very thin on our timeline. To fix that, so that it's more visible, we can zoom in on our timeline either by holding control and scrolling with our mouse wheel or by dragging the timeline sliders which can be found at the lower right of the Caden Live interface. There. That's much better. Now that we've added our clip, we can move on to effects. If we right click on our clip, we can find the option to add effects. I will be using only three effects, but, you can add as many as you want. For this intro, I'll be using the the fade from black, fade to black, and position and zoom effects. Once added, I can then start to set up the timeline by duplicating my original clip. You can do this by hitting Ctrl C, to copy, then hitting Ctrl V, to paste. The clip is pasted on whichever track your cursor is currently over. No need to select the tracks you want to paste the duplicates on. Having a little trouble here. Work, dang it, work. Okay. There. At this point, we need to move the duplicates using the position and zoom effects so that they appear in different locations on our final output. This can be keyframed, but, we're keeping it simple for this video. We will have each one blink on and off, or, fade in and out, in different locations of our video for 3 seconds. We know that each clip is 48 pixels in width, so, what we can do is edit the position of each clip on our x-axis. For track 2, that's video 2 on our timeline, we need to offset each clip by 96 pixels in the positive and negative directions, in other words, left and right. Once we are satisfied with our intro, we can render the output to a location on our hard drive. You can always use text or any image of your choosing to achieve the same simple effect demonstrated here. More videos to come in the future. Until then, keep it diary.